On today's episode, we're in Oregon in the Yamhill Curlton AVA with Elko Vineyards winemaker Adam Campbell. And we're going to talk about the Yamhill Carlton AVA, the history of Elko Vineyards, and what it was like growing up at the dawn of Oregon's wine story. Uh, my name is Adam Campbell, and I'm the winemaker and owner here at Elk Cove Vineyards in Gaston, Oregon. Uh, we are in the western, northwestern corner of the Willamette Valley, uh, so and also in the northwestern corner of Oregon. We're in the Yamhill Carlton AVA. Uh, we grow Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris primarily, uh, but I also have uh, some small plantings of Pinot Blanc and Riesling, um, small plantings of Gewurztraminer. Uh, basically, Pinot Noir is the, the reason we're here, uh, but I love these Alsatian white varietals. Uh, we started the vineyard, my parents started it back in 1974. Uh, they came here, uh, it was an abandoned homestead that they um, kind of rehabbed and we lived in a little trailer and uh, they had really Burgundy as the model, uh, so they planted Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Um, I grew up here right at the winery and uh, since taking over about 15 years ago, um, have expanded vineyard operations, but also kind of altered and went away from Chardonnay and really focused on Pinot Gris and the other Alsatian whites. We had experimental plantings of all the different um, um, Alsatian varietals and made small lots of uh, Pinot Gris back in the 80s and uh, um, expanded plantings. That's the, the primary one that it just does so well in this climate. It ripens alongside Pinot Noir and really responds to the same climate and soil conditions that make Pinot Noir so great. Winemaking um, in terms of equipment and, and decisions and research and basically everybody all has the same information around the world um, and uh, the same techniques and the same uh, knowledge base. So really it does come back down to the vineyard and you know, for us, planting on steep hillsides with, you know, really well-drained soils in this cool climate of Oregon uh, is the, by far the, the most important way I can guarantee to make uh, really quality wines. Um, for me personally, in the cellar, uh, I take a very hands-off approach, but uh, I like, um, you know, uh, primarily um, fermentations that um, start uh, native yeast, uh, but we're not afraid to inoculate. Uh, small lot fermentations, um, primarily destemmed fruit, so we take the stem out and, uh, and uh, really rack the wines with gravity to barrel, all French cooperage. Uh, I'd say fairly traditional winemaking methods, but again, what we see the biggest differences in the wines that we have uh, doesn't so much have to do with the uh, techniques and, and equipment that we have, it's more to do with the vineyards and where they come from. Elk Cove here was, uh, this was the first vineyard and winery in the, what's now the Yamhill Carlton AVA, uh, but back when uh, my family came here to plant grapes, there were no other grapes grown in this area. Um, since then, uh, many, many vineyards have come in. Um, uh, I think 80% of the plantings in this AVA are Pinot Noir, so there's a definite strong focus. Uh, the soils are marine sediment almost um, across the board. 90% plus vineyard sites in this AVA have this marine sediment, so really sandy, well-drained soils. I think it brings to the wines a lot of dark fruit character, black, um, like black cherry, and uh, can have a fairly high tannin level. Um, so we need to address that in terms of winemaking, uh, but we love the fact that, that we don't have to work very hard to get very concentrated, very full flavors from grapes from this ABA. Oh, I think that, you know, the amazing thing about wine is being able to, you know, capture a place um, and to, to have it. A history of that place and uh, and to uh, capture a point in time so um, I remember um, vintages from when I was a kid and, and primarily when I was you know probably 18 or 19 helping my folks at harvest um, and uh, it just you know conjures up a memory growing up uh, it, you know here at the winery I mean I loved my life as a kid uh, it was uh, 
um, definitely a lot of work. I always say, you know, we were kind of my parents' first labor force. Uh, it was a family um, family endeavor. So weekends and certainly summers was uh, spent in the vineyard working alongside my parents. We did most of the vineyard work ourselves in those early days. And, uh, um, you know, the other thing being in a, you know, growing up in a rural community, um, a lot of my friends' uh, parents were farmers as well, but it was always a little bit odd that my parents were doing something like growing grapes, and and uh, it was definitely a, um, you know, it, it's not like it is today where where people think of it as such a um, renowned and uh, important industry to Oregon. Back then, it was really a kind of an oddball thing to be doing. Thank you.